So here's my Strawberry iMac booting up from an OS 9.2 CD that I burned. And the way I fixed it was with this stuff. I'll get it into the picture here real quick. CRC white lithium grease. I just sprayed some onto the uh, CD-ROM spindle because it was making a kind of a weird whoop whoop sound and it wouldn't spin up to full. So now it's booting into OS 9.2. So this is a win. I do have a newer CD-ROM coming that works, but I just wanted to let you know, guys know if you were having a problem this is the way to solve it, maybe. No guarantees. And here we are booted into the desktop. As you can see, if I can get in a little closer, and sorry for the flicker, uh, as you can see, it says 8.27 a.m. I do have a pram battery in there, a brand new one, but I cannot get into the date and time control panel onto a limited install like this. Let me go to the time real quick. just changes the time to the date so we'll have to go in there later and see what we can do I do have an 80 gig hard drive in here so I will use drive setup um, to format it and partition it because it needs two partitions okay this disk has OS 8.6 and it's an Apple software recovery CD in other words it could make 8.6 as it was installed from the factory. And it does work on these iMacs, even though these ones ship with 8.5. So I've got a flashing Mac or a flashing folder on the desktop. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna insert this into the CD drive and then we'll boot from this. skullduggery or shenanigans going on and I'm not pressing the C key because I don't need to. This is the only system folder that's valid. Whoops. I'm using my iPhone for this. Happy Mac. And there's 8.6. Now, I don't believe 8.6 has file sharing turned on by default. So if it does, then it's going to take a minute for this because I don't have Ethernet hooked up. And if you can maybe hear the CD drive. Yeah, it sounds better now. And there it is, it's booting from the CD. be able to speed this up. I'm going to put them all in an iMovie. Alright, the software needed to use the USB device Apple extended USB keyboard. This guy right here cannot be found. Please refer to the device documentation to install the necessary software. It doesn't work anyway, so the desktop will come up, and it doesn't open the iMac Restore by default, but there's that, and I could start it up, because if you've never seen this, it's pretty cool. And there it is. Now, the only drive that I have that can be uh, seen is the iMac HD image or this the uh, iMac restore disk that's the only disk that's there so can't switch them because this is the boot disk so what we'll do is we'll quit 
and I'm going to close this window and then we'll go ahead and shut down CD drive sorted right now. I am going to continue to get that new drive that I ordered just as a backup, but now I believe that this drive was just caked with bad lubricant and the lithium grease took care of it. So it's the next day and there's more optical drive shenanigans. Uh, I have this Indigo iMac. Yeah, let me come around and show you that. I have this Indigo iMac 450, and it has a DVD drive, but it is dead as a doornail. Uh, it'll kind of inject a disc, but it will not spin, so that one is done. So I have what I think is going to be more versatile. This is a slot-loading CDRW drive from this, from my wasted Graphite iMac. What I'm also going to do is I'm going to put uh, 256 or 512K into this one. And then we'll put some more RAM into the strawberry. And I already have enough RAM in the snow. I think what I'm probably going to end up doing is the snow will get OS 10 because it's running 600 megahertz. The Indigo will get 9.2 because it's 450 megahertz, and the Strawberry will get 8.6. So hopefully I can get these all working. These for sure work, although the Snow has only a CD-ROM drive. It doesn't have any kind of writer, but I do have a portable FireWire writer, and that is a FireWire iMac. So. That is verifying the drive that I'm putting in there as a 20, 20 gig hard drive from the graphite. What I will probably do in that one also is I will put a blank. I've got some 40s and 80s, like eight of them, just lying around. And uh, an 80 or 40 or an 80 gig would probably be perfect in there. But for right now, this will suffice. So we'll come back when it's buttoned all up. Okay, it isn't buttoned back up yet, but the OS 9.2.2 .2 DVD, or CD, I'm sorry, did mount. So this optical drive is working, and it's working pretty good. Now let me get a button back up. I gotta put a pram battery in there too, so hold on a moment. So I wanted you guys to see what the Indigo iMac looked like before I put the shield on and buttoned it back up. Um, here is the pram battery that I put in just now. This right here, for those of you that don't know, that's the power management unit reset switch. You do that before you put in the pram battery. This Mac came with 128 megs of RAM. Uh, here is the carrier for the hard drive and the CDRW, the hard drive is a brand new 80 gig. And uh, basically, that's it. Side panels. This has an actual reset and power uh, program to switch. FireWire 400. Uh, modem. Two USB 1.1 ports. Uh, 10 base T Ethernet. And in, uh, input and output. You know, microphone in, headphone out. So that's it. So let's get the shield on and everything should be good. Okay, here's what the iMac looks like with the RF shield on. And it's a rather nice RF shield. You can tell how clean an iMac is by looking at the RF shield. So I didn't blow this one out very much, if at all. Also, I forgot to show you that these iMacs have a VGA output. It only does video mirroring, but this is good if I want to do, say, capturing from my StarTech device to my Elgato. So we'll probably end up doing that. The only one I couldn't do a direct capture from is the Strawberry because there's no way to do it. There's no output ports on it. Uh, but we might be able to do it through uh, EasyCap. I don't know. Uh, we'll find out. Anyway, 
we'll put the bottom on and then we'll fire it up. All right, so here's something else that you need to know just when you're taking these apart. The back cover has only four screws, one here, one here, one here, and one here. Those are all you have to take off. I took off these two here. Those are inner uh, bezel screws. You don't need to remove them. So we're gonna button this back up. Oh, also from the graphite iMac, I savaged the rubber feet. This one didn't have any, and uh, they are made of unobtainium. So here it is. It's all buttoned back up and ready to go. Uh, I'm gonna smoke test it. There it goes. Nice chime. This is a clean hard disk, like I said. Just checking it. See if the light is on. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna drop that in there. It's not the most powerful motor. I think it's about on its last legs, but once it gets going, it should be fine. Okay, there it is loading up from a Panther disc. And we'll see how fast it does it. This has 128 megs. This is enough to load Panther and Jaguar. Tiger, probably not. So I'll give it a few more minutes to get to a desktop, and when it does, I will come back. So there it is. That's Mac OS X. It's going to go into the installer. It isn't a live CD like OS 9. And that should do it. I could probably just get away with installing Tiger on that and then installing Classic, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to shut down and then I'm going to put my 9.2 boot disk in there and see what happens. So let's quit the installer. And I'm going to quit and what will happen is it'll just shut down. Actually it'll reboot, but I'll hold the mouse button down and it should eject the disk. That disc really doesn't like anybody, I'll tell ya. That should be 9.2 right there. As I said, unlike the Strawberry iMac, I'm covered with this one. This has FireWire and I have a FireWire CDRW drive that I can use. So we'll have to set this one up too. Like I said, this is going to get 9.2 and yet another 9.2 disc. And then I will get the stuff off of the Snow iMac and turn it into a 10.3 disc when I have 256 megs of RAM in it, or 512 megs of RAM in it, I'm sorry. My file sharing is start, starting up and it won't start up. There it goes. So that's the Indigo Max sorted. We'll get this one going uh, with 9.2, and I'll show that process at some point. So let's uh, restart. I'll hold down the mouse button. 
while we're waiting for it to spin up and it should eject. And now I'll go back to a flashing question mark and that way we can turn off. And there we go. So that one is pretty much fixed. I will probably get in slot loading CDRW drive just because it makes sense to have it working fully. So we'll do that. So let me put the uh, 512 meg into the Snow iMac. And I also have an airport card. It's wireless B. It's the first airport, so it won't work, but it's nice to have. So uh, put it in there and then we'll come right back. So this is the official airport version one card. This is the caddy that it sits in in the iMac. And on over there is where it connects into the iMac's logic board. Now, there is an antenna jack right there. And if we go back to the iMac, this is the snow iMac now. If we go back to the iMac, this is the antenna. And inside, let me turn on the light real quick. Hold on. And inside there, I don't know because I can't see. Right there, that white thing, that's the header that the airport plugs into. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and we'll install the airport into the iMac with 512 megs of RAM. All right, be right back. Okay, so the airport appears to be plugged in. It's flush. And now what we'll do is we'll plug in the RAM and we'll go from there. So it looks like the RAM is all sorted out. I got it in there right and it's seated. So I'm gonna put the bottom cover on because it's just easier for me to take off the entire bottom. And you don't even have to remove the RF shield. You just have to get in there and do it. It's just a lot simpler with the door not being in the way. So I will button it back up and we'll fire it up. And I believe this just boots in a 9.2, but we will see. Yes, there it goes. This is the fastest iMac I have now. So let's let it get up to a desktop here. That works for me. And let's go about this computer. And it is. Sorry about that. It is Mac OS 9.2.2, built-in memory 512, virtual memory 513, and that's Mac OS, right? So the iMac works and the airport is in there. Just barely see it maybe right there. Uh, it's wireless B with WPAs and there's no way to get on there unless I bridge in an airport router. So I might have to get a little spaceship router and do that. I don't know yet. But as far as anything else is concerned, the iMacs are sorted right now. Uh, so um, what we're going to end up doing is installing... Uh, OS's onto them and cleaning them up and then this machine is probably going to be the main uh, iMac in my life. I have over there if you can see it I have my G4 with mirrored drive doors that's probably going to go up in my room. There's my graphite iMac all torn apart. It is a parts machine. It has a decent motherboard and uh, well, it has a decent motherboard, and it has a decent screen, actually, so that could work. But all these other iMacs have better screens, better hard drives, etc., etc.
So probably gonna change this hard drive out. This is the original hard drive that was in this one. Uh, and I need to get a decent slot loading CD-ROM. So I gotta spend some more money. So anyway, hopefully this was helpful to you guys. And uh, like, share, subscribe, do all that other good stuff. Comment, uh, don't like if you don't like it, and uh, I'll see you soon. Thanks.